I think the hug, I think the hug might have killed him. I think it might have just murdered him because he knew that I was going to keep my loyalty to him. He was yeah. never on my 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 radar. And I'm the type of person, I'm I'm really too cool. You know, if I say I got you, and I know loyalty is not reciprocal, right? Yeah. If I say I got you, I got you. Enough said. We didn't have to talk about it no more. love to become the anonymous the anonymous the game begins august 19th on usa tyrena do you, do you know why it's okay that we can do this audio only why Najee? you tell me why it's okay because you know i love my dmv folks and the fact that we even live in the same area you know <laughs> i'm gonna have to give you the special special exemplary uh, action here but nonetheless i'm excited to talk to you unfortunate on uh unfortunate circumstances here but nonetheless how are you doing today i am doing fantastic and your smile is everything so i am good to go thank you so much i appreciate that are you are you currently in uh around the way or shall i say home I am definitely, I am currently right off of Fort Washington Road, sitting by a gas station. You got my full attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just had that storm that just came through. And I was like, oh, boy, I hope we don't lose power for, for this. But uh, it quickly breezed through as it usually do. Um, you have been showing a lot of love from being from the DMV um, I, by way of Charles County. I saw you do some other interviews with local radio stations and such. What, is, what does it mean to be able to re represent this area on, on, on a national television, on a game show that has never been, the likes of this have never been seen before. I think it's fantastic. I mean, the DMV, you know, is rich in so much history for a number of reasons. And to be able to be a part of, of that and contribute to say, here you have somebody with a little seasoning on it to be able to be on a show that's never been established <laughs> by somebody with big hair that doesn't care and say, you know what? I'm here. Let's do it. So I I, I love it. And I, I appreciate the love uh, from the DMV. I try to represent as best, but they, they didn't want your girl. They didn't let your girl yeah. stay. Yeah, even in even in your elimination, you went out gracefully. And, you know, the thing about this show, uh, no matter who you root for, or whatever strategy we think as the viewers may work. I mean, it just all it takes is one person. And in this case, I think it was just a collectively group of haters because I feel like, you know, obviously they thought you were somebody else by 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 your um your icon that you picked here. But like it obviously shocked them. What, what was sort of your reaction to see how everybody reacted, realizing that they got the wrong person? It was so, in, in, in some ways, it was funny because, you know, I told them what I did for work and it just, you know, they couldn't put one and two together. I think what was more funny is how group think just went from, hey, we think Robbie's the dice. No, you know what? Tyrene is the dice. Yeah, everybody thinks Tyrene is the dice. Well, how the hell did this happen, you know? <laughs> so for me, it was like, oh, but I try to lean into it because that worked better for me in terms exactly. of getting me to anonymous. Yeah, exactly. It, it's such a I, I thought that was funny because I thought you were literally the only person who had picked the icon that actually did kind of represent what they do. And they didn't right. pick up on that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so are you uh, are you down at Pat's River or are you at Andrews? I know you do some I, military stuff. Uh, neither. I'm in the Virginia area. OK, you can read between the lines on that one, folks. Yep, we can read between <laughs> the lines. Yep, I'm in the Virginia area. <laughs> um, honestly, when when you talk about your initial strategy here, um, could you talk about what that was and at what point you decided to kind of come come off of that plan, realizing that the game is forever changing and small variables can could be could make or break one's decisions in in in, in oh. terms of selecting folks? I think my strategy was I was a little bit gullible because I didn't realize Xavier was such a powerhouse, right? Because I didn't know he won Big Brother, so. 
everybody went running to align with him. Nor did I know Nina was like a superpower. So now I got two superpowers. You know, I got a sleeper with a bow tie on. You know, I got a gamer, you know, and then I have Dylan who has so much bubbly personality. So it's like all this overstimulation. And here I am late to the party on yeah. day two talking about let me do a strategy. So I would have just started earlier, right? So I was yeah. late to the party. I should have started a little bit earlier and maybe kept my cards a little bit closer to my chest. Yeah, I I really, even to this point now, watching four episodes, I like, I really don't know how I would do it. I mean, damn, if you're a gamer, there's a problem. Or if you're like, you know, kind of isolated to yourself, introverted, you're a problem. If you, if you make a friend, <laughs> if it looks like there may be a little bit of like romance stirring up, that's a problem. Like, what do you do? <laughs> you just breathe. You just breathe you just and breathe. just hope. Yeah, because I was caught off guard too. I went to the bathroom. What happened? You know what? <laughs> y'all don't like me that much? Y'all didn't know me. What happened? So you yeah, it's just that quick. It's that quick. And you gotta stay tuned, you know, to, to just really stay up on top because who's you know who's here today may be gone tomorrow. That's right. That's right. And I gotta uh, I gotta be honest. Um I got a chance to talk to Xavier earlier this season and um yeah, he's a pretty stand-up guy, and I know he's very strategic, but I got to say, for the first time of, of all four episodes thus far, your elimination really came as a shock to him. I really, really think he overly regretted that. And I think if there had been more time to kind of, like, let that simmer, I'm sure he would have reflected on it. But because of the fact that now everybody got the respin and, and, and now go with new icons, I think it was because the game had just evolve so quickly they had to get back into strategy mode did you have a sense that he felt a little bit of remorse in terms of that elimination when you kind of look back at it i think the hug i think the hug might have killed him i think it might have just murdered him because he knew that i was going to keep my loyalty to him he was yeah. never on my 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 radar and i'm the type of person i'm i'm really too cool you know if I say I got you, and I know loyalty is not reciprocal, right? Yeah. If I say I got you, I got you. Enough said. We didn't have to talk about it no more. But I also feel like Xavier went the extra green mile to get rid of me. Like, you know, he became the grand poobah and was like, you know what? I'm going to be the one to do it. So mm -hmm. um, even though I was up for discussion, he was the one that really went out the way to to make the, the you know, the final decision to, yeah. get, to get rid of me. Um, had he not become the anonymous... I was well on my way in a high speed chase to be able to get that anonymous so I could have saved my butt. I no, seriously, because for all of them, honestly, the game really, really, really worked to Robbie's favor. Like Ooh. your elimination and them being able to pick new icons now absolutely worked to her favor because she was dead to rights after that. Once they got you wrong, they had her Ooh. right. They I was coming for her and she knew it. She yeah. knew, uh, I, I I saw her from day one. I said, she's a, a game player. I got to get rid of her, you know? Mm. And so it was never Xavier. It was Robbie who I had the stink eye on, like the Game of Thrones, like the, the eye of Sodom, <laughs> I just like on her. But I just couldn't, I couldn't navigate quick enough. It was like a whole bunch of obstacles in my way. I couldn't get to her fast enough. <laughs> So listen, if they do a season two of this, because I've been such a fan of this thus far and 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 already hoping even before we get through this season that we get an announcement for a second one. But we, we kind of know how these renewals work. Like you got to get to the first season, see how the people are feeling in, then they come back for the sec. If they decide to give you the call, they say, hey, Tyrena, we need you back. What you going to do? I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I want to burn the house down. Nobody gets no empathy. I'm taking no prisoners. That's it. I'm going to be on top of it. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to be staying wet, wide awake at night. I'm going to be ready, ready for everything. Full gameplay. So I would love if I was ever invited uh, to do this show if they have another season, which I think uh, people seem to love it, and I hope yeah. they will. Um, if I'm invited back or any other platform, um, this was great, you know, at my age to be able to work with a bunch of people that could easily be my kid, you yeah. know, was so nice. And the team in and itself, even though they got rid of me, uh, I love them all the same. And uh, too, too soon, too soon, because I was getting ready to get them the business for sure. Definitely <laughs> for sure. For the folks that's, that is left, who would you like to see win? Uh, I'm going to say the people who I would love to see win. Uh, Marcel, uh, Dylan, uh, 
uh, Nina and, and, and Lily, all of the people who I don't think voted for me. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, if Lily somehow wins, the strategy is to get in eliminate, get to get in the elimination contention for four straight weeks or three straight weeks, and hopefully then you just slip under the radar for the remaining rounds because, uh -huh. man, she's been getting it bad. But Ooh, we'll see. Yes. We'll see. Well, Tyrena, thank you so much for your time. It's always a pleasure to talk to a fella dmv -er, And although I was rooting for you, I'm, I'm still rooting for you to win in, in, in life. And hopefully we see you back on television again. Yeah. And I know you're creative, so I know you got some other things coming down the line. You know, a, a nice little book about this would be good. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be happy to read up on that. And <laughs> and all you do for representation and, and, and just being able to see a Black woman with her natural hair on screen in this environment is a beautiful thing. And I know that's all of what you stand for. So um, I'm just letting you know that I appreciate that. Um, and I'm sure so many young ladies, I mean, just black people in general are, are happy to see that representation. I, I really appreciate that. And I made a point to make sure they saw all that big hair. Don't <laughs> care. You know, so thank you for that. And I, I really appreciate the opportunity. And, uh, you know, again, hope I get a chance to talk to you at some point down the road again. Absolutely. Have a good rest of your day. And we'll be talking soon. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye.